This faith thing, episode 114. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is trusting in God with all your heart. Faith is knowing that all things are possible with God, that nothing is too difficult for God to do. This faith thing can be easy when we have God on our side. Faith is the word of God. Welcome back for another episode, but today's episode is a little different because it is not a prepared message. It is a message that is just coming from my heart. By the way, today is October 28th, Wednesday, October 28th. Currently, it is 7.08 p.m. I hope that I will release this message for tomorrow because this is a topic that has been on my heart and I just want to have a sit down, chit chat with you Um, I hope that you guys are doing well, and I hope that all is well in your area, wherever you're located around the world. I hope that it's all going fantastic. Um, Today, my day has been blessed. I went to work today. I just had one lecture, and I taught my students. Um, I have a lot of fun teaching. I love to teach. Actually, I'm a very animated teacher, um, and my students always find it amusing that I am as animated and whimsical as I am. And that's just really who I am in in real life. And that's just my personality. I like to laugh. I like to make jokes, but I don't really make jokes with the intentions of them being jokes. I just, I just like to be free um, and be, you know, lively with my students just because that's just me. Anyhow, I came back some time ago and I've been home working, 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 Because like I released on Saturday, our website will be coming out on November 1st, which is this coming Sunday. So I have some minor um, changes and additions that I'm trying to make to the website so that I can release it. And every single day, new content will be going onto the site every single day for your use and for you to consume it. And so if you missed the episode on Saturday, I've already said that our website will be coming out on the first and we will also be including now on this channel interviews and some courses and workshops and online you will find worksheets so every series that is done on this faith thing will come with the accompanying worksheets that you will be uh, able to download and print off for your use so that you can possibly take notes and then go back and fill in the blanks or just take notes as you're listening to the message so that you can continue to grow on your walk uh, with God and so that your faith also increases. I will also be having devotionals and I'll be having products that will be for sale for you guys to consume and to use to the glory of God. It's, it's just becoming this, this faith thing is becoming such an amazing opportunity, such an amazing avenue to spread God. And I'm loving it more and more. It is a lot of work. This one woman show is a lot of work because currently I'm doing everything by myself. I am a content creator. I am the editor. I am the producer, the sound engineer. I do it all by myself and I cannot wait to eventually expand it to a larger network because that is the ultimate goal is to get it to a larger scale so that we continuously grow the kingdom of God for God and do his work because that's what we've been called to do. But anyhow, I've been thinking about a lot of things and I'm just looking around me on a daily basis. Like I've said before, I am very observant and I look at things that that are happening around us, things that are taking place around our lives on a daily basis. And one thing that I see is not happening is that people are, they don't do good things. I have a motto that I always say, and it's do good always. Do good always. Because when you do good for people, that good will definitely come back to find you. It may not happen today. It may not even happen tomorrow. It may happen five years from the day that you've done it. But when you do good always, it will always come back to you. Friends, whatever goes up, it must come back down. And whatever you do to someone, it will always come back around. And we should always know that. When you look at society and you see the the pain and the agony and the strife that is in society, it is very bothersome. It really bothers me. And I really would wish that people would be good to people always. Don't steal, don't kill, and don't destroy. Because when you do that, it resembles Satan because that's what he he does. He still kills and destroys daily. He's there to destroy anything and everything that he has the opportunity to do so. And when people do that, they resemble Satan very, very, very much so. They really resemble his behavior and is as if they are agents of the of the devil. And 
if you bring that to their attention, they get angry. But they shouldn't get angry because you should always do good to people. Whatever you want for someone to do to you, whatever or however you want someone to treat you, it's the same way that you should treat another person. You should never mistreat people because you just feel like mistreating them. You should never mistreat people because you don't like the way that person looks, or you don't like their race, or you don't like their gender, or you don't like how tall they are, or how short they are, or how long their hair is, and how kinky the hair is. You should always just do good to people because they're humans, just like you. They have feelings, just like you. If they get cut with a knife, they're going to bleed, just like you. Friends, it is not a good thing to be evil. I just don't understand why some people are just blatantly evil. I don't understand how these people get up in the morning time and in their hearts, they really desire to do evil. If you have been unfortunately consumed by the spirit of darkness and by the demonic spirits of Satan, and you don't know that you're doing it, that's one thing that needs deliverance. But when you are well aware of your thoughts and your actions and how you deal with people and how you treat people, it is, it is a problem. For instance, you know, one thing about me is if I go to a restaurant to eat, I don't like my food to be served messily. I don't like it to be thrown into the, onto the plate. I like it to be decently served. Or if I, for instance, when I order sandwiches, I don't have sandwiches with tomatoes on it. It's not that I don't like tomatoes. I just don't like tomatoes on my sandwiches. That's just how I like like to eat my food. And whenever I tell people that, let's say if I go to a sandwich shop and I'm asking them to make a sandwich, instead of them to now wipe the knife or get another knife, they use the same knife for the customer that was before me and they cut into my sandwich and I tell them, no, do another one. Then they get angry. Why? Why would you get angry? Do you know if I have an allergy or not? Right? Friends, we need to start thinking on that level. Think on that level that These things that you may like, something that you personally like for yourself, the person next to you may not like it. And that person has the right. The person has the right to not like that thing or to like that thing. Why? Because they are them. They have their own mentality. They have the way they think about things. It is not your job to be fussing them and cursing them out because you are angry about how they feel. That doesn't make sense. Friends. Do good always. I am so passionate about that. Do good always. When you are doing good for everyone, it will always come back. When you do good to people, you will attract goodness for yourself. You will attract good people and good circumstances for yourself. But when you're evil with the way you do things and the way you the way you maneuver your life, then people are just going to be nasty to you too. It goes back around, honeys. It comes back around. It's not, ugh, this law of karma is real. Whatever goes up must come down. Whatever you do to people will always come back around. That's just how life is. There's nothing that you can do about it. Do good always. Christ Jesus did good always. Did he condone everything? Did he accept everything? Absolutely not. But he was good to everyone. He was a friend of all. Maybe I should talk about that. A lot of people mistake this. They, They think that... Christ Jesus condoned everything. No, he did not. Mm -mm, No, but he was a friend of all, of everyone, of every single person. He was a friend of all, but did he accept it? Did he keep them as, as, as close friends? Did he sit down and wine and dine with them and laugh with them? No, because if you're not doing the right thing, you're just not doing the right thing. That's just how it works. So be a friend to all, be helpful. I I just want to challenge you that on a daily basis, try to do one good thing for a person. It can be a stranger. It can be a family member. Just do one good thing. It can be something as simple as holding the door or as helping an elderly person put their grocery into their car. Or if you live in a community like I live in, where we have elderly neighbors, When you see them, let's say you come back from work, you're coming back from work and truly you may be tired and they're moving their products into their home, assist them. Even if you don't want to enter into their house, try as much as possible to take the groceries to their door for them so that it makes it easier for them so that they don't have to walk back and forth, right? 
when the winter time comes, for instance, winter time is coming in our area. And one thing about my community that I love is that sometimes we very well have intentions to get up and cut the grass or to do certain things. And somebody would have already done it. Like I have, I'm a very weak girl, friends. I don't shovel snow. I barely like to move the snow off of my car, but of course my husband will do it for me. But if my husband is not home to do it, my neighbors, they do it for me all the time. They literally shovel my car out of this hill of snow. And by the time I wake up, I don't even know who did it. So whenever I see all of them, I just thank them. Thank you. Thank you for doing it. And they're like, oh, it's not me today. It wasn't me today, but it doesn't matter. At least I'm thanking them. I'm grateful for what they've done. So do something good, do something kind for everybody or for one person every day. And you will see that it becomes a habit and you will just love your life because you are at peace, right? You're at peace because you're doing something nice for people. Do good always, friends. Do good always. It makes your life so simple. It makes it so happy, so jolly. People always ask me, why are you always in a good mood? Well, number one, I'm not always in a good mood, but I try to as much as possible to make sure that I'm in a good mood, especially when I'm in the midst of people, because this energy, it transfers. And as a scientist, I know that energy can never be created or destroyed. It's simply recycled. It simply transfers. And that's what happens when you're in the midst of people. The energy will transfer from one person to the next. So I try as much as possible to be in a good mood. Yes, I will have my days. I will have bad days, which we all do. We experience bad days. Um, We have times that we just want to be left alone. You don't want to be in the midst of people. But when you're in the midst of people, friends, do good always. And I think that was all that I had to talk about. That was the reason why I actually put on my mic. You know, sometimes I sit at my desk and I'm just thinking about how God is so good and how he's so favorable to me and how he's so merciful. Because if you know my life and if you know my story, you will know that it can only be God that has really taken me to this point. And I'm still a work in progress. I am still growing on a daily basis. I have my challenges. I have my setbacks. I have my flaws just like anyone else. But when I sit down and I get to count my blessings every day, uh, you know, there's a song that count your blessings, name them one by one. And then you will see how and see what the Lord has done for you. It it really is amazing because when you begin to count them one by one and see what God has done for you, you will only be grateful. That's the only thing that you can do. So I was just sitting here at my desk and I was thinking about why people do bad things. You know, why do people rob people? Why do people kill people? Why do they just talk anyhow to another person without the without them thinking about how that person will receive it or why is it that you want to cause or inflict pain on someone just because of who they are. You know, God can create whomever he wants, whomever he wants to create and however he wants to create them. You're not God and God can do whatever he wants to do. We can never question God because he's God. So why can't we just all live in a society where we're all doing good always to one another? It would be so peaceful. Can you imagine if people would just do good to themselves, to everyone around them all the time? The peace that we will have here on earth, man, it will be so peaceful. You will be able to leave your house and believe that nobody will enter into your house and rob you. But in this day and age, you dare not do that. Or at least where we live, you dare not do that. And we live in a very good area. But with the fact that people, their thinking is just not nice. You just don't even want to take that chance at all. Anyway, friends. It's going on 13 minutes of me talking. I don't believe that I will edit this because it's one of those episodes where I'm just talking from my heart and just sharing with you what the Lord has placed on my heart. I'm sure this message is for someone and I hope that it has ministered to you. I hope that by you hearing this raw and unedited version of me that you will you will begin to do good always and do good for people so that it will come back to you it always comes back (laughs) it always comes back friends always 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 and remember that friends i hope that you have a blessed one go in peace and i will speak with you on the next one god bless you thank you for tuning into this faith thing with adele aduni Please head on over to the website at thisfaiththing.com to find the show notes and everything mentioned inside of this podcast. I pray that you have been blessed. Go in peace and I will see you in the next episode. God bless you.